This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to convert RGB to CMYK using Affinity Designer. But before we get started, I'd just like to point out that since Affinity Designer is a vector-based application, this tutorial only applies to vector files, which are files that end in either .ai, .svg, .eps, or .pdf. If you're trying to convert a rasterized image, like a JPEG or a PNG file, then you'll need to use a raster-based software like Krita or some other web-based application. I'll have links to those in the description of the video if you need them. So to get started here in Affinity, the first thing I'm going to do is open up my document. I'll come over here to File, I'll click on Open, and I'm going to open my SVG file here, which is colors.svg. And here we have a, ser a series of colored in circles to demonstrate how we go about converting our document. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this button up here that says Document Setup. Or you can come up here to where it says File and click on Document Setup. And to convert from RGB to CMYK, all you have to do is come over here to where it says Colors, click on the Color tab. And where it says Color Format, just click this drop down and change it from RGB 8 to CMYK 8. Now if your print service is requesting a specific color profile, you can choose that from this list here. Otherwise, you could just leave the default and go ahead and click OK. Now, before I click OK, I just want to show you something. If you notice how these colors appear on the screen now, watch how they change when I click OK. You notice the colors look a little more dull and muddy after I make that conversion. Now, if you're OK with this change in the color's appearance, you can go ahead and save and export your file now because you're finished. If you'd like to correct these colors a little bit, what you can do is select these objects one by one and then just change the color to bring some of that vibrance back in them, as you see me doing here in this color menu. So let me just go ahead and change these a little bit just to bring these colors back to life. Make these a little less muddy. And I'm just doing this really quickly just for the sake of this demonstration. If, if, if you're designing something for print, you'll probably want to put a little more time into correcting these colors than what I'm doing here. But just to give you a general idea, that's how you can go about correcting the colors. And uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. So that's how you can very easily convert an RGB document to CMYK using Affinity Designer. What you can do now is just go ahead and go to File and go to Save or go to Save As, or you can go ahead and export it if you'd like, if you'd like to save it as a different format. And uh, that should do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.